to Science. I'm Mrs. Redondo. I teach 6th and 7th grade. This is my assistant, my son Reiner. So we're so excited to be bringing you um, our investigation. Um, today we're going to be investigating how much baking soda it takes to explode a plastic bag. So the supplies that we have here are what you would need. We have some warm water. We have vinegar. We have baking soda, tissues, a beaker so that we can do our measurements, and the plastic bags. Um, so what we're going to be doing is taking about 100 milliliters of warm water, 50 milliliters of vinegar, and then we're going to be using different amounts of baking soda. So we're going to try 50 milliliters once, and then another time we're going to try 100 milliliters. So that'll be our independent variable. Um, before we do that, though, we want to make sure that we're going to follow our safety um, requirements. We don't, we're going to be exploding a plastic bag. We don't want to get vinegar all over us. So we're going to make sure that we wear lab coats. Riders are ready, ready, but I'm going to put mine on right now. Um, I'm going to make sure that I put my hair back out of the way. So that's okay. And of course, our safety goggles. Okay, are you ready, Ryder? Yes. All right. So we're going to take our 100 milliliters of water, so you can pour that in. Our hands can be clean. Okay. All right. And then that goes into the bag. do the 50 milliliters of vinegar. <laughs> it's vinegar, it smells. And then we'll do about 50 milliliters. Jesus. About 50 milliliters of the baking powder. Put it in there and quickly zip it up so that it's sealed. And then we're going to mix it together, and that creates a chemical reaction. Oh. So it didn't explode. Let's try and mix it up. Oh, it's very, very blown up there. All right, so. Scared to shake it. Hey. Oh. Scared me. So that was the 50 milliliters of baking soda. Now we're going to try it again with our 100 milliliters. So let's get our materials again. So first we'll do the water. Hold that for me, Ryder. 100 milliliters of the warm water, 50 milliliters of the vinegar. We want to make sure that we're measuring it carefully so that we don't introduce another variable. These are our constants. We want to make sure that they're the same every time. And now for our baking soda. So I want to make sure this time I have more baking soda. Again, put it in there, quickly seal it up, give it a little shake to mix the two reactants. Oh, it's already, oh, oh. <laughs> this time, oh, look at that, like it exploded this way. Oh, so that definitely works a lot quicker when we introduced more baking soda. Um, so what's going on here, the science behind this, yeah. This is an example of an acid-base chemical reaction. So when you have the base, which is the baking soda, and the acetic acid or the vinegar, um, the two, once they combine, they release a whole bunch of carbon dioxide or they create carbon dioxide. And as that is happening, and the carbon dioxide is building up and building up in 
the plastic baggie, it creates more and more pressure. And then the increased amount of pressure, eventually the bag can't stand it and it explodes. Okay. So that was pretty cool, right? Yes. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as we did. Mm -hmm. This was fun. Um, and if you get permission from your parents and you want to do it on your own at home, make sure that you email your video to your science teacher and we can post it on the i24 Instagram page. Thank you.